good morning um, this is just a video describing on how I make these tiles um, that I test with and this is the bast fiber and the shiv I'm letting that gonna focus up a little bit the the bast is the the stringy part and the shiv is the is the hardwood pieces like that um, about as light as is aspen basswood balsa um, every bit is is hard is um, any hardwood uh, quite quite the unique property it doesn't take on water well uh, like actually it doesn't take on water at all um, and uh, today I'm just using this as a, a, a set ratio for how much um, how much the to get the weight ratio is what I'm trying to get at. Is why I'm using it right out of the bag so I know. And oh yeah, here it is. Oh, there went my punch down stick. The this is a um, this is just a whatever you want to call it. Uh, what I cast it into. Okay, thank you. Um, Slow this morning. Is, this is um, a lot of noise, but in here, let me lock the chair out. Yep. In here is the. It's just, and that's just the, the caliche clay coming out of it, um, just from being dirty. It was super dry. That's why I'm putting it back in here. The water, um, before it was even on the wood stove, it came out of this other um, big tank up here. 60 liter job. Um, it's too hot to put your hand into. It, not even, you couldn't hold it in there comfortably for, even for a second. It's not hot enough to steam or boil or nothing like that. But it will get the moisture back into this. I don't know if this would be necessary down at sea level. Um, I see a lot of people that don't do it. Uh, the reason I do it is because it makes it um, hmm, exponentially stronger. There, there's You couldn't even put math into that term. Um, you just got to trust me here. What's happening when you heat it up, when it's not just water, it's hot water that's doing it, is it's going to soften this otherwise brittly hard material. In in um, when the the lime is put to it, the the material now is going to have plenty enough moisture. So when the the calcification of the lime says, you know, give me your water molecule, this is going to say, you know, um, give up a little bit of calcification, and we're going to be a happy camper. And they work really well together. Um, but uh, you want it all pop first, you know, the crushed. I, I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of the chopping or the grinding of it. Um, it makes too much, it gets the ratios wrong. If it's simply crushed, and if there's anybody out in YouTube land that wants to make the machine that makes this like this instead of doing it by hand, please let me know. Um, I'm, I'm very good at it. Ask Easy Loader. I used to be a production manager for their for their trailer shop. I made the jigs that made the factory fast, um, but enough of that. Um, the what else can I say about this? In a minute, I'm gonna um, take this out, mix it with the the lime, so it's gonna start and stop the video just a little bit. I'm gonna try to start and stop it without ending it. Hey, we're gonna try. All right. Now this is the power of limestone. Um, it's just you know calcium carbonate, uh, ground fine. The uh, I wish I would have had just a little bit more or put in a little bit less uh, material. It, it's covered fine, um, but I just mean for uh, the um, how to say it, the binder is always the weakest part of hemp the the fiber and the the shiv the the bass fiber the stringy bass fiber and the shiv of the plant is so extremely strong the the weakest part always is the is the um is the binder and and but it would have been fine to have a little bit more this is going to petrify extremely well 
it'll take up everything that it had you can already tell that um, let me get it in the mold and then I'll show you what that's gonna look like too but um but this is the second step this is mixing it straight out of the tank and yeah in the beginning it's hot um, you just got to deal with it and I'll pick up a little bit sprinkle in the lime pick up a little bit you know and again anybody that has an idea or I mean has the equipment um, I have several ideas on how to make a mixer that'll put the lime in here correctly and the PLA glue um, the adhesive in when you do composites as well but um, yeah hit me up if you have if you have the manufacturing um, especially if you want to make doors or something like that um, it incredible properties on this uh, well let me get to the mold making before this dries out all right we have it pressed in to cast um, it's going to turn out to be about oh six inches thick um, but it is um, a lot of people ask is it necessary to have it sloppy wet it, you've seen no it, it's not uh, some people ask is it necessary to have it like um, you know way too much binder than it is the material no it's not actually if you get the ratios wrong all ratios are is a triangle um, pull one out of skew and, um, and it won't work well for you but uh, but now it is, um, is but you can feel it it's heating up the hot water helps too and um, and maybe that's you know southern Colorado it's cold down here or it's cold up here I should say and um, so maybe the hot water is a good effect for up here where it may not be necessary um, uh, sea level or something like that but give this a few days and it'll it'll impress anybody um, I'm going to leave the video off here and then we'll try to dub it back in I don't have any fancy equipment I wish I did um, to dub videos to make them better um, even somebody to hold a camera but it's okay we work with what we got and, um, and you can't whine about what you don't have but this is Shiv the Bast and the um, the Bast and the uh, Shiv fiber this is hemp I'm sorry this is hemp uh, ground up stock it's the bast and the shiv the stringy part is the bast the hard woody part is the shiv of the plant um it's calcifying in the lime uh, a little bit extra if, if you'd have had a little extra to pour a slurry on top and then strike it down would have been better uh, this is just a test tile like i said i work mostly from the underside of it or radiantly through it or you know stuff like that this thickness um is the shallow thickness is what you're looking at the bottom um, but i'll be done with this long-winded one i appreciate your time and and always subscribe like share all those things look at the other videos they're down there or wherever they're at and um and some of it will explain itself is what i'm trying to get at any questions please leave it in the comment um i'd I'll gladly answer any questions. I'm not big into the flat earth thing, guys. Uh, I'll just be straight up and honest. Um, Earthship thing, yeah, this is a material that will replace Earthship. Is um, instead of you know building with material that's going to bring in bugs and rats and snakes and and different things like that, this pretty much keeps everything out. Um, it, it can't rot. It can't bring in moisture. It's still breathable. Um, how else to say that you, you there's so long list of of the of the benefits to this um give it a try test it out that's what these videos are about not that i'm doing anything greater than anybody else i'm just testing i'm testing doing research observation if it's repeatable hey i make a video of it so here we go um i thank you for your time again Alrighty, bye bye